Well, thank you, Zach. Well, the Churches of God Women's Ministries holds an annual conference every year, and it's coming up in just a few weeks. It's time now to register. But I want to tell you why you want to register. Women all throughout the area need to listen to this next interview because you just never know what that extra thing is that God has put in your life to help you get over that next hump. And maybe, just maybe, it's the 4D Love Conference. Allison Buck with the conference is joining me from Pennsylvania to talk about this event that is taking place at Weinbrenner Seminary in Findlay on March 13th through 15th. Hi, Allison. Thank you for being with us. Hi there, thank you so much. So let's talk about this conference. It is called 4D Love this year. Give me the, give me the meaning behind the name. Absolutely, so in Ephesians chapter three, verses 17, 16 and 17, it says um, how God's love is immeasurable really, but it specifically says, I want you to know how high, how wide, how long, how deep is the love of God. And just that image of being multiple dimensions uh, was really fascinating for our team this year. And we wanted to explore that in not just a biblical teaching way, but in a tangible way where we can experience that in teaching moments and main sessions in breakout sessions, but also in fun activities, uh, different service projects, going to a climbing wall. And we can talk about that in a minute. You know, the idea of love and being loved may seem very trivial. We hear the word love so often, but I think we as women do need to be reminded we do so much, but yet we are loved. Tell me a little bit about the uh, two main speakers um, and what they're gonna be bringing for the conference. Sure. Well, Shar Binkley comes from Indiana, the Fort Wayne in area, and she was a radio personality for a long time with WBCL, for those who might have been listeners of that audience, and many other ministry opportunities in her life. So she's bringing a strong biblical teaching to us in a very creative way on Friday night and then again on Sunday morning. We've also invited Marie Monville to come to speak with us on Saturday. And you may have remembered the story back in uh, the late 2000s where um, there was an incident in Amish country in the Lancaster area. A man went in and um, did some very uh, tragic things there. Um, she became a widow in that situation. Uh, yet the Amish people embraced her mm -hmm. and actually met her needs as much as they could. And um, she has since married and has several children of her own and just amazing story of transformational love of God in her life. It sounds like those, those two speakers alone could make this conference worthwhile to attend, but I know that's just the tip of the iceberg in a sense of everything that is being offered. The breakout sessions, so many diverse opportunities to really zero in on specific topics. That's right. We have something for everyone, I always like to say, mm -hmm. uh, and it will probably be hard for people to choose. So if you come with a group, of course, uh, I encourage you to each take a, a different option. And uh, one will be a couple who will be sharing about love and marriage and the baby carriage, so to speak. So if you have kids and Specifically, this couple is a blended family, so they want to address the issues that come with trying to bring two family units together into a new family and how to love uh, as that couple and as um, parents. Um, I want to also say we have something for our single women, whether um, divorcees or widows or those who have just been single and are still longing for someone in their life. Um, we're going to have a special panel uh, talk to that. Um, and allow for questions and answer time too. So uh, those are two. Another would um, be loving others through caretaking, which we recognize that it's such a high percentage of society now where we have people who are caring not only for their own children, but also for their adult parents or perhaps special needs, um, adults or children. And so how do you love when you're doing the daily, so to speak? Um, and so much more uh, we could take time to talk to, but I encourage everyone to uh, get online and, and take a look at more details there. And tell us what that website is before we do talk about that climbing wall that you mentioned. I want to hear about that. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, so it's womenforgod.org, and four is spelled out F-O-R, so Women 
www.thefaithforgod.org. And that is also where uh, you can go for registration, which again, we'll talk about in a moment. But you said, mentioned a climbing wall. You know, I think yeah. a lot of times women, we have walls of our own that we need to get over. Women's conferences like this can be that catalyst to get us there. But sometimes doing something physical, uh, proving to ourselves that we can do things we can't do helps us. And I think a climbing wall, not just figuratively, but realistically, is one of those things that sometimes encourages us to realize we're more than what we realize we are. It sure is. And I will say I did it last year. <laughs> that was our first year um, partnering with the University of Finley. They allowed us to so graciously use the uh, Kaler Center in Finley. And they had uh, the layer there who was just amazing with about uh, 12 of us who took on the challenge. And um, I know many, many more women are hoping to do it again or for the first time this year. Um, and we'll have a kind of a devotional, inspirational moment along with that. So um, I think it's going to be worthwhile for those who actually want to climb and maybe those who want to watch others climb That's to great. participate together. It's great. Well, the registration is underway now. And March 1st is when you'd really like to have people registered by, which is coming up it in sure just a few is. days, actually. Yeah, absolutely. So please get online. Um, the cost is only um, $90 for all three days. Um, 80 for just Saturday, and um, it's a full weekend. We I'll include our Saturday lunch and dinner with that. Um, and I do want to mention that there are some limited scholarships available. So if money is an issue, we don't want that to be an issue. We want you to pray about coming and then get a hold of our scholarship registrar who um, can designate certain funds out. And that uh, is Catherine Griffith and her email is Catherine E. Griffith at gmail.com. That's the person we direct contact in regards to that. Correct. Correct, yep. All right, so that's the 4D Love Churches of God Women's Ministries Conference, which is coming up on March 13th through the 15th. But registration, you'd really like to have people registered by March 1st. They can go to womenforgod.org to find out more information and to register. Is there anything that we've forgotten? I think I just want to point out for registrations um, not requiring scholarship, we want to direct those to Rebecca Schramm, okay. and those can be mailed to CGGC's office. Um, or if you'd rather call her at 513-478-5546, that's 513-478-5546. That would be, be the best way to get a hold of her and complete your registration by March 1st. All right, very good. Allison Buck with the Churches for God Women's Ministries. We thank you for joining us from your home in Hummelstown, Pennsylvania, but you will be here in Finley for the event coming up in March, correct? Thank you. All right, thank you very much.